This video is supposed to show off some of the add-on features that have been added to Google Drive. So a colleague showed us this morning how to use these add-on features using um, Lucid Chart as an example. And when she was doing so, I saw that there's an easy bib function. So I've had a play about with that this morning and I'd like to share it with you. I think it makes um, creating bibliographies very, very simple and means that you don't have to jump from tab to tab all the time. So this is a sample essay. What you would do is you go to the add-on feature and you click get add-ons. This takes you to a store which has a whole range of add-ons. Here's EasyBib. I already have EasyBib so it's going to say manage. However, if you wanted to add something you can click plus and free. It's going to ask you to accept um, that you will let, let it work in Google Drive so you just press accept there. I already have EasyBib so how I would use it is I would go up to add-ons Easy Bib Manage Bibliography. So here's my link. It's going to ask me what's the source type. Is it book, journal, article, website? Again, it's not as um, advanced as the website, which gives you a lot more options. But these are the ones that people use the most. So I'm going to put in the the website address. Oh, and this is. Oh, you can see I've already done it actually this morning. Um, it comes up there for you. What I was doing by mistake when I was playing about with it is I kept every time I found a resource and made the citation, I'd press add bibliograph add bibliography to I'm not speaking right. Add bibliography to doc. And it would go work cited and have that link. And then every single time I added it, it would add like a separate bibliography. Um, so what you do now is it actually builds in here for you. And then when you've got all of them, you click add bibliography to doc and it will come at the bottom. It will automatically put everything into your chosen um, chosen citation form here or MILA by de uh, default which is what we use. You can log into EasyBib to have more of the functions and also it goes into alph alphabetical order for you um, which has always stressed me out but it does it automatically for you so it's really really easy for creating those bibliographies um, and very useful for your students to use too. So have a play about with that and play about with the other add-ons. Again, they are found in add-ons. Get add-ons. Enjoy!